everyone, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and I'm back today with something brand new. This is the Darling Beads subscription box and this is from a small company that just started up recently in Sweden and they started up because they saw a need for a really good European based bead and jewelry making subscription box. If you're one of my international viewers, you know that it's hard to get some of these boxes shipped to you where the shipping and customs fees don't cost more than the box itself. So this particular subscription, I have no idea what's in it, but let me tell you just a little bit about it before we crack it open. First of all, their website is darlingbeads.eu and they've set up a coupon code, which is GINA2, and that will save you two euros or $2.34 off your first box. And they ship worldwide. They have a flat shipping rate of seven euros, and that's approximately a little over $8 US. Each monthly subscription package is based around a particular theme, and you will receive up to 20 different items. They say there could be semi-precious gemstones, check glass beads, Swarovski crystals, seed beads, all sorts of findings, pendants, you name it, and they aim to make it a lot of fun and very interesting and things that they would like to receive themselves. They ship their packages on or around the fifth of each month and they have different subscription options as far as if you wanna just get one box to try it out, you can do that. And that's at a cost of 29 euros. They also have a month to month subscription plan that auto renews at the same price. They have a three month plan and a six month plan. So they've got different options. The six month plan would be the least expensive per month at 27 euros. So to convert that for my US friends, the box itself will cost between $31.50 and $34 per month, depending on how long you sign up. And the shipping will be about $8. So you're looking at between $39.50 per month to $42 a month. So a little bit on the pricier side when you compare it to other US boxes for the most part. However, like I said, in Europe, there just aren't as many options for subscription boxes. So for you guys, it may appeal to you even more due to the fact that you won't have to pay exorbitant charges for shipping that just don't make sense. So I have the November subscription in front of us and I also have September. So we're gonna go through November a little bit more thoroughly. And then at the end of the video, we'll crack open September's and see what that looks like. All right, here's what I'm seeing inside of the envelope. Came in this purple bubble mailer. And she said their focus is on the actual products inside themselves, not so much on a bunch of fancy packaging. They're really trying to maximize what's actually inside. So here's the paper that was inside of the package. It looks like we have the name of our theme. It's called Stargazer. And there's gonna be 18 different items for us to take a look at, plus a surprise gift. They also say they have a VIP group on Facebook at Darling Beaters VIP, where you can post and share creations from your package. So far, so good. I love that everything is listed out for us. It looks pretty specific as far as what we're gonna be seeing today. It gives us the specific name of our theme and everything is in this tissue paper bundle with this cute little thank you heart. So here is November 2020's Darling Bead Box subscription. Here is what's inside that tissue paper bundle. We have an organza bag that looks like it's chock full of all different things. I'll give you a close up look at everything one by one so you can see if this is the type of subscription that is right for you and we can get a feel for what's included. The first item on our list, it says in bag number one, which it looks like they've all been labeled, which is perfect, we know what's what says that there are 20 pieces of 10 millimeter dark blue goldstone beads. And you guys know I love blue goldstone, that's so pretty. And I think that's an excellent item to put in a Stargazer theme box. I think we're off to a good start. Just look how this goldstone sparkles. I like the fact that there's 20 pieces. I think that's quite generous. They are so gorgeous under the light and I'm just moving them so you can see them glimmering and that background color being extremely dark blue. Our next bag, number two, it says this contains an 18 centimeter strand of four millimeter dark blue goldstone beads. Awesome, so we have 10 millimeter and now four millimeter, which will come in handy. 
You can use these together to make a set if you want to. And same thing, just an extremely dark blue background with that shimmery, sparkly night sky with stars sort of effect. Here we have bag number three, which contains a 43 centimeter strand of four millimeter metallized glass golden bicones. I like the combination of the gold and the blue, and these are very metallic and reflective. So here's a close-up look at this glistening metallic crystal bicone strand. It looks like these are Chinese crystal, but you get a lot to work with. And like I said, I like the combination of this gold with the dark navy blue so far. Next up is bag number four. It says this contains a nine centimeter strand of six millimeter bubble glass beads in the color cashmere. Here are these glass beads up close and they're kind of interesting. They're not exactly symmetrically round. If you look at them up close, you can see that they're just slightly irregular, but I actually like that. I think it makes them look different. They have a beautiful luster finish and glossy shine. And there's a close up look at them. You can see how the light shines through that translucent glass and you can get a feel for that slightly irregular round shape. Next in bag number five, we have some of these little cuties. These are 15 pieces of eight millimeter check glass star beads in the color Lumi Blue. All right, so some check glass shapes. in this beautiful grayish blue or steel blue light colored glass and nice size handful of these little check glass stars to work with and certainly a fun addition to the subscription. You can see already we have a combination of gemstone beads, some check glass shapes, and some additional classic glass shapes. Let's see what else we find. All right, bag number six, this contains 15 grams of 8-0 seep seed beads, dark blue. So it's a combination of blue and reddish brown and white. And I'll put some in my hand so we can take a closer look at them. All right, there we go. So I do like the combination. I like the seed beads that have the different tones of glass all mixed into one, but these are irregular. So these are not your precision cut Japanese glass seed beads. They are all just slightly different in size, as you can see if you take a close up look, which is fine if you use them for something other than bead weaving. In fact, when you do use seed beads like this, it adds some extra texture, in my opinion, to some of those stringing projects. So just pointing that out to differentiate these between some other types. Definitely nothing wrong with them. And that's a generous amount that is included in our bag. Our next bag is number seven, and this contains a 22 centimeter strand of eight millimeter white smoke baking paint beads. All right, so a pretty generous strand of some solid white round beads with this very smooth and what feels to be a pretty thick coating that baking paint and also makes the beads feel quite smooth. There's a look at the hole so you can see that it is a coating that is placed on top of these glass beads, but they will be just fine to work with. They're definitely uniform and another good staple item in shape and also a different size round, getting an eight millimeter strand. And it's great that the white contrasts with the navy blue and also the gold. We're getting that starry night feel for sure from the color combination. And then next in bag number eight, we have a 21 centimeter strand of eight by five and a half millimeter electroplated glass rondelle beads in the color pale goldenrod. So here's a look at this very sparkly, light, golden, buttery yellow strand. Absolutely beautiful under the light, how all those facets shimmer and shine, especially with the electroplating. And again, a generous amount to work with on the strand. All right, so these are all of our beads besides the surprise that we'll look at at the end. I just realized that that is why there is a space between these two sections. It looks like the rest of our items are going to be the coordinating gold findings that will go with the beads that we have just taken a look at. So let's see what that's all about. All right, in bag number nine, we have a... Selection of eight pieces of golden toned ear wires. These are your typical fish hook style ear wires with the ball and the spring. 
And there's a look at these in my hand. I will say it's really hard to coordinate gold tone findings. And right off the bat, these ear wires look like they're going to be a little bit lighter in tone than a lot of the other findings that we are going to see that look a little bit brassier. So I'm just pointing that out. And not to be nitpicky, but just to give you an honest review and an idea of what I'm thinking. I don't necessarily use the ear wires from boxes together with the other content. So for me, I don't mind. It's kind of nice to have some lighter tone ones to pull from when I need lighter tone. And I certainly have other brassier ear wires I could use if I was concerned about getting everything to match. Our next bag, number 10, contains three golden tone clasps, hook and eye, toggle, and lobster. That's nice. I like that they have included three different types of clasps. A lot of times in boxes we'll see the same type, so it's good to have a variety to choose from. As you can see again in the golden tones, and we have our hook and eye, the toggle of course, and our little lobster. And the lobster appears to be in that slightly lighter tone as well. All right, next up is bag number 11. This contains one piece, a 34 and a half by 29 millimeter golden moon and stars pendant. That's very cute. And there's a close up look at this glossy golden tone pendant. You can see the stars and even some little hearts in there and lots of openings where you can attach beading or wire or even work with resin. And then you can see how it's got the two loops on either end that you can use this as a connector. Lots of different options and definitely goes with our theme. In bag number 12, we see 30 pieces of eight millimeter Tibetan style flower bead caps. A generous amount, and I don't need to take these out because we can see clearly what they look like through the package. Just that brassy golden tone in a flower-like shape. And then in bag number 13, we have one meter of gold-colored curb chain. That's awesome. I'm all about getting chain in these subscription boxes when they include findings. And this is in a brassier tone, like a lot of the gold findings that we have below. It's really shiny. It's not dull. It feels smooth. And these links are in a very versatile size. You can use this in so many different types of ways. And it's got these nice open holes that you can attach wire and other findings to. Next up is bag number 14, which contains 14 and a half by 12 millimeter golden star charms. And here they are very bright and shiny and pretty simple. Just the outline of a star shape with a simple loop on the top. Great size to add right next to the clasp area of a bracelet or at the bottom of some earrings. And then bag number 15 contains some more spacer beads. These are 30 pieces of four millimeter golden spacers. And the holes appear to be a little bit bigger than a typical one millimeter size or a little bit larger. And instead of being a round sphere in shape, they're more like a rondelle or a donut bead. They're kind of compressed and maybe half the size of a round spacer. Then we have bag number 16. This contains 10 pieces of eight and a half by 19 and a half millimeter curved golden star connectors. There's that handful. You can see these star connectors. It's a trio, two larger stars and one smaller in the center. You can see how they are slightly different on the front and the back. The front looks like they've got that little outline of the star shape and then on the back, just plain. Pretty generous handful and these are brassy like most of the other golden findings. In bag number 17, there's 20 pieces of 50 millimeter golden eye pins. Definitely another item that will come in handy with your jewelry making that also coordinates with the items in the subscription. And finally, bag number 18, which contains approximately 25 pieces of antique gold Tibetan style flower spacers. There we go, quite a few in my hand. You can see that solid flower shape and how the hole runs up and down the center of the bead. 
and it says they're flowers, but they do look like little stars, and I can see why they are in addition to this particular month's theme. Last up is our surprise gift. It says this is a 23 centimeter strand of 11 by 8 millimeter electroplated pearl luster glass drops. Oh wow, these are really sparkly and shiny. They remind me of the really dark navy blue color that the blue goldstone is. Jet black in the background, then the electroplating, which makes these look a little bit metallic. Pretty substantial size fasted glass drops to round out our contents. All right, we still have September's box to take a look at, but let me go ahead and give you my first impressions of the subscription box. Things I really like include the fact that you can tell they really put a lot of thought into their monthly theme, which makes it fun when you're unboxing this and you're getting it in the mail. It kind of feels like a special gift and you want to put things together right from the contents of the subscription. I also like the fact that they have included lots of findings to go along with the beads so you can make quite a few things directly from the box. I like the diverse shapes of the beads that they included. So you get different sizes of rounds. Again, we get the fun little star shapes, also some gemstone beads, some seed beads, some drops and some bicones. I think it's also awesome that they are a small business located in Sweden and that they are doing this to give beaters and crafters around the world the opportunity to get a fun subscription box like this that doesn't kill you with shipping and customs fees. That said, for us US folks, I think for the cost of $40, including shipping, is a little bit on the pricier side for this particular subscription. And these are all just my opinions. You may feel totally different, and that is fine. That's why I'm here to share these boxes with you, and you can formulate your own opinion. I really like what's included in the variety. I think I would just like to see for the price from a US perspective and comparing it to other subscription boxes that we're able to get. I know we're fortunate in the US to have so many different options. I'd personally like to see some more higher quality beads like check glass. I know we had the check glass stars, but as far as the other items, they're pretty inexpensive for us to get over in the States, the Chinese crystal, the bicones, the rondelles, the seed beads. So it might be nice, just speaking from a U.S. perspective, to see some more Czech glass, Japanese glass seed beads, you know, something that increases the value of the contents for us a little bit more. But I know that's the thing when you are trying to create a box that's one size fits all for so many different parts of the globe. Items cost differently in different locations. Certain things are easier to get your hands on. And depending on where you are, you're used to paying a certain amount for particular items. So like I said, that's just my honest opinion. Feel free to share your thoughts down below, depending on where you are. Let me know, especially if you're not located in the US, if you'd be excited about what you see here and if the cost is reasonable for you, depending on your location and what you're able to get your hands on. I think it's awesome that people who wouldn't normally be able to get a subscription box with fun beads and findings are able to have the opportunity to. So I think that factors in as well. One other thing I will say is that in communicating with the owner, you can really tell that they put a lot of thought and effort into these subscriptions and they really care and have a passion for beading and jewelry making, which I think is so important if you are going to be putting out a product like this. And it's always great if you're able to support small businesses. All right, so that is November's. Let's take a little peek at September's box, see how it differs and see if I have the same thoughts after looking at that one. All right, now let's open up September's box to take a look back and see what was included in that one, see what the theme was. Again, we have our tissue paper bundle and a list that we'll take a look at first. And it looks like there were 19 items in this theme and also a surprise gift. And the theme of this one is called Deep in the Woods. I love this purple tissue paper that they use and a little thank you, that's very cute. All right, 
So as you can see, again, we have this organza bag that I'll be able to reuse and it's chock full of these 19 different items that we will take a closer look at. Here's an idea of what we'll be seeing. And I'm just gonna dump everything out with you right now. So bag number one contains some eight millimeter faceted round dark green natural Indian agate. So that's our gemstone bead for this particular theme. And I love that gentle fasting that these have. So that's great. Number two is a bag containing some faceted green Irish check glass bicones. Aren't those pretty? And I like the fact that they are check glass. It's things like that that just improve the value of the box a little bit. In my opinion, it's a beautiful combination of the green and the blue iris. And then there's bag number three, beautiful berry red tone. It says there's 40 pieces of six millimeter crimson red glass pearl beads inside. Would like to take a closer look at these just to get a feel for the quality. And they definitely seem decent. I love that beautiful rich red color and they're not scratched up, they're not chipping. And that's a beautiful accent with our theme. Bag number four, I'm really excited about this. It says that these are an 18 by 12 millimeter transparent green check glass oval strand. That's what I'm talking about. I'd love to see more of these types of things. Isn't that gorgeous? That green kind of like a recycled glass color. They look to have a travertine finish around the edges and then they are very smooth and shiny on the top and bottom with that flat table cut surface. And then bag number five contains 10 grams of Edo check glass seed beads in an autumn mix. So I like that these are check glass as well, although the ones from the other box were interesting because they were three different colors, that's pretty cool. The check glass though are definitely a bit more uniform as you can see in this bag, even though they're all different colors, the size 8 they're just a lot more uniform if you're using them for bead weaving. And they're kind of, to me, an in-between step between Japanese glass and the least expensive type of glass seed beads. Very cute mix with all the different colors and kind of pulls our color palette all together. All right, then in bag number six, we have 30 grams of the Czech glass leaves mix. Really cool, really, really cool. I love that they have included a mix of leaves. That's something I haven't seen, but that, that really makes so much sense to me, especially in this type of a theme. Sometimes it's fun to get all different sorts of check glass leaves, not just a bunch of one different type. We even have some of these frosty light pink petals. We have the vibrant yellow mustard color, deep red, and various shades of green. And normally when you see a pile of fall leaves, they're all a little bit different and all put together in a big mix like that, not all the same. Then there's bag number eight. This contains a strand of six by nine millimeter check glass faceted puffy rondelles in the color topaz. I love the fact again that these are check glass, adds a little bit more value to what's inside and a different shape and color to go with our theme. Then there's bag number nine, which contains 18 pieces of six by eight millimeter matte red copper bell flowers. Love those, of course. Another great shape of check glass beads to go with this theme in a beautiful copper color. I just realized I skipped over bag number seven. So here it is. It's a 15 centimeter strand of three by six millimeter light topaz glass chip beads. Very cool. I love how the light goes through those. They are so golden and give you the feel of gemstone chips. Those are a lot of fun. As you move them under the light, you get kind of that velvety color play. They're just slightly irregular, like little nugget shapes. And then I'll just give you a feel for the other findings that were included. We have some of these antique copper owl connectors, super cute. There is a bag of coordinating antique copper four millimeter spacer beads. We have a bag of some antique copper colored floral shaped B 
bead caps. We have a bag containing some copper colored bird charms. Those are really cool. And it looks like they don't have a loop, but they have a little hole that is running down through the bird shape. And then we have a bag containing these Tibetan style mushroom charms in an antique bronze tone, definitely appropriate. A mixed bag of toggle clasps, which I really like. Again, how they're mixing the toggles. You get a couple different styles. A bag of coordinating antique copper chain and a generous one meter length. Love that that's included with the findings. In this package, there's also a bag containing a meter of army green beading wire, which will come in handy. That's a great addition to the theme. Here is a bird on a branch connector in an antique bronze tone. Very sweet. And a bag containing eight millimeter antique gold melon beads. Really cool texture and shape to work in with the glass and gemstones. And then finally, the surprise bag, which contains four of these antique brass colored leaf links. So I'm really glad I had this additional subscription box to share with you in addition to November's. I think this one, they included some more Chet glass inside, which I really appreciate personally. Again, that's just my personal opinion. We're all a little bit different. I like that they also coordinated most of the findings and they even included some antique brass with the antique copper, not to mention some of these gold spacers, but they both give me that woodsy fall vibe that I think they were going for. I can tell that they really put a lot of thought into this theme, again, just like they did the first one we looked at. And at about 20 items in the subscription, you're looking at approximately $2 per item, which is still not bad. It's just that we have so many options in the US not to keep rubbing that in, but just to share my perspective. And I think it's awesome that they have started up this company that is based in Europe. So more people have the opportunity to get a fun beading package in the mail. There's something to be said about getting a subscription package of items that you didn't pick out to really get you thinking outside your comfort zone. And that can be a big value to many people as well. So again, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. I'm sure they would too. I want to give Darling Beads a huge thank you for reaching out to me to share the subscription with you guys to give you the opportunity to take a closer look at it and see what you think. If this video was helpful and enjoyable for you, I hope that you'll give it a big thumbs up down below. And also please hit that subscribe button while you're here because I'd love for you to come back and enjoy more beading fun right along with me. You can also find the link to this subscription as well as the coupon code GINA2 right down below the video. So definitely take advantage of that if you wanna try out the subscription. Also look for my social media handles down below because you can follow me along on those channels as well. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your weekend. I hope you're staying healthy and inspired. And as always, happy beating. Mm -hmm.